Hey citizens, thanks for stopping by. Today's video, I'll be bringing you for an up close and personal of this 2017 Photon Thunder. This trim that was particularly shown on the screen is the 2.84x2 mated with a 5 speed manual gearbox. In this video, I'll take this Thunder for a full walk around review, showing you the most interesting features between in and out. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy. The Thunder 4x2 is powered by a Cummins ISF, 2.8 liter, dual overhead cams, 16 valve, 4 cylinder turbocharged diesel engine with common rail direct injection. The truck generates 161 horsepower with a maximum rev of 3600 rpm and 360 newton meters of torque with a maximum rev of 1800 rpm. Fuel tank capacity for this truck takes 75 liters with the emission standard of Euro 2. 5-speed manual is the transmission for this Thunder. Rear-wheel drive is the drivetrain of the Thunder 4x2 manual. Photon's budget compact pickup, the Thunder, commonly known as the Thunderland in other markets, and FT500 in Chile, is sold by the Chinese manufacturer Photon Motors since November 2011 in China and following with Australasia, Colombia, and some emerging markets that replaced the old Blizzard which was in the production until 2012. When it comes to Photon, price points are fit in a budget. For this example, the Thunder offers in a lower price unlike any pickup trucks came from the Japanese and American counterparts that offer a biggest amount of price such as Toyota Hilux, Nissan Navara, Ford Ranger, and many more. In terms of reliability and quality about the Thunder, well, even though price points are cheap, the Thunder is might not be the best pickup truck ever, but still it has a good reliability status and build quality is good also. The Thunder was only offered with one engine, which is a 2.8 liter Cummins ISF turbo diesel. To sum up this story, the Thunder is one of the cheapest pickup truck on the market and it has a top-notch quality in terms of styling between the exterior and the interior, a powerful engine thanks to the 2.8 liter Cummins ISF engine, and a good reliability status. Therefore, this Chinese built pickup truck is got to be the right choice if you have a lower budget to buy. The Photon Thunder was launched in the Philippines way back 2012. Three trims that will offer. 2.8E 4x2 manual, 2.8 4x2 manual, and the top of the line 2.8 4x4 manual. As of February 2018, Photon Philippines launches the new Thunder 4x2 automatic as part of the expansion of Photon's automatic series lineup. It is powered by a Cummins ISF 2.8 liter turbo diesel engine with Photon's new Blue Energy system. A single overhead cam output and a Euro 4 compliant, the Thunder improvised the fuel efficiency to make it even more fuel efficient than before. Interior-wise, the Thunder receives a new interior styling like the dashboard itself, which shares to the top Lander SUV. The 4x2 automatic trim is an addition to the Thunder lineup. Exterior features for the Thunder 4x2 manual has equipped with manual leveling halogen projector headlights, front and rear fog lights, chrome front grille, white type fender, indicators on the body colored side mirrors, body color door handles with chrome garnish, projector taillights, rear parking sensors, high mount stop light, and side step boards. The Thunder does come with safety features such as two airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, security alarm, child safety lock, seat belt reminder, and three-point EDR seat belts.
This pickup truck gets a 16-inch alloy rims. The rims are wrapped in GT Radial Severo HT Plus tires that measures 245-70 R16. Brakes consist of front disc brakes and rear drum brakes. Meanwhile, the suspension for this Thunder gets a double wishbone setup for the front, while the rear gets a non-independent longitudinal leaf springs. As you have found on the driver's side door panel, you've got your speaker together with a bottle holder and storage area, central locking, window lock, and window controls. All four windows on this car are fully powered. Right next to the interior door handle, you've got your tweeter. The bonnet release lever can be located on the left corner of the dashboard while the fuel door release lever can be located underneath of the driver's side footwell. On the left side of the steering wheel column, there are mirror controls and headlight adjuster. The driver's seat on this truck does come with full manual adjustments, with your seat back, height, and sliding position controls. The Thunder 2.8 4x2 does come standard with hydraulic LA assist and speed proportional rack and pinion power steering system. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather with minus sport grips at 10 and 2, chrome accents on every spoke, multifunction controls on the left spoke, and it is obviously a 3 spoke design. On the multifunction control, it controls for your infotainment display with your volume button, sync track button, and on hook and off hook button for your Bluetooth telephone menu. your light and indicator controls, and wiper controls. The steering wheel of the Thunder gets a manual tilt only, adjusting using this lever underneath of the steering wheel column. Right here got your digital clock, two air vents, and between those two is your hazard switch. The Thunder 2.8 4x2 has featured with an integrated head unit with various media connectivity options and six speakers for the sound system. Manual climate control system with all of your controls located right here, it is very simple to use. Fan speed together with your circulation and outside air button, temperature together with your air conditioning button, and different modes together with your rear defrost button. I do believe that this button is for your rear fog light switch, but right next to it is your heated side mirror button. Storage area. Another storage area with your power outlet. This unit as shown is the 2017 model year and the Thunder 2.8 4x2 does get a 5-speed manual transmission. 
to put it into reverse, just push the lever all the way to the right and down. This car has rear parking sensors. Two cup holders with a cover if you don't want to expose this one or use it. Hand operated parking brake. Underneath of the center armrest, you've got your massive amount of storage. And you have a center armrest as well. The driver does get a sun visor. Interior lights right above together with a sunglass holder. Manual dimming rear view mirror. The front passenger side does get a sun visor with a vanity mirror. Nicely perfect size glove box. Alright, so let's shut the door for a moment to see how quiet it is that this car has. Chrome interior door handle, window control, down there is your speaker together with a bottle holder and storage area. Adjustable seat belts for both driver and front passenger. As a 5'7 intern, I do have quite decent amount of legroom and the headroom I have massive amount in terms of space. Therefore, the seats are nice and comfortable and very spacious as well. You do have storage pockets in the front seat backs. For the rear, you got grip handles on both sides. Cabin light in the middle.
At the back, you have your ashtray or little storage area depending what you use it for. The seat base at the back can be flipped up to increase more space to load more things at the interior. A toolkit and jack can be located underneath. There are adjustable headrests for both front and rear. To open the tailgate, first go towards the tailgate itself and locate the release lever to drop the tailgate down. The Thunder's cargo bed measures 1520mm in length, 1580mm in width, and 440mm in height respectively. 1,025 kilograms is the maximum payload with a towing capacity of 2,500 kilograms and 750 kilograms unbraked. A bed liner and tied out points are standard. A spare tire is located underneath of the cargo bed. Well guys, I hope that's it of our full walk-around review of this 2017 Photon Thunder 2.84x2 mated with a 5-speed manual transmission. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I will see you next time with 4 more latest videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching and mabuhay!